so today I'm going to be showing you how to make Cindy biryani. First of all, I'm going ahead and putting in 250 grams of butter in a pan. While the butter is melting, I'm going ahead and putting in three sliced onions and I'm keeping the heat high. I'm going to fry the onions on high heat until they go golden brown. It should look something like this. After frying the onions, I'm going ahead and putting in five cloves of garlic. I'm going to fry the garlic for one to two minutes on high heat. Now that I've done that, I'm going ahead and putting in three to four green chilies into the pan. I'm going to fry that for about one minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in one teaspoon of salt into the pan and give it a quick mix. I'm going ahead and putting in three potatoes into the pan and I've cut them up in medium pieces as you can see. Now I'm going ahead and putting in half a tin of chopped tomatoes. That is about 200 grams. I'm adding in 200 grams of plain yogurt. Now I'm going ahead and putting in the chicken. Now I'm giving everything a quick stir. After stirring everything, now I'm going ahead and adding in Cindy biryani masala into the pan. And once again, I'm going to give that a thorough stir and I'm going to bring everything to the boil and let the chicken release its juices. And then we're going to start to fry the curry base for the biryani until the oil has separated from the gravy. This usually takes at least 10 minutes to do. Make sure you keep the heat high. As you can see the oil has separated from the gravy but continue uh, stirring on high heat until the gravy becomes slightly dry as you can see here. After frying the chicken, now I'm going ahead and putting in two cups of water and I'm going to bring it to the boil and then I'm going to put the lid on the pan and I'm going to let that simmer for 30 to 35 minutes until the chicken and potatoes have cooked. While the curry is simmering away, I'm going ahead and boiling the rice now. I've put in three to four jugs of water in a large pan, one bay leaf and two cloves, one teaspoon of salt and a two to three tablespoons of oil into the water and I brought it to the boil. When the water started to boil, 
I'm going ahead and adding in the basmati rice. I used 750 grams. Parboil the rice for 7 minutes. Now I'm going ahead and layering the biryani. So first of all, the oil that's on top of the curry, I'm putting that at the bottom of the pan, as you can see, and I'm going to spread it out. I'm going ahead and putting in one third of the rice at the bottom of the pan and I'm spreading it out as you can see. On top of that I'm going ahead and adding in the curry on top of the rice and I'm spreading it out. Now I'm going to add a thinly sliced tomatoes on top of the chicken and I'm going to repeat the steps until the rice and chicken has finished. This part is optional but I'm going to put in 3 pinches of yellow food colouring. Um, it just adds a bit of colour to the rice but you don't have to add it if you don't want to. This part is also optional. I'm adding in Kevra water. Um, it adds extra flavour to the rice but once again like I said it's optional but it tastes nice if you do add it. Keep the heat low at this point and cover the pan with the lid and let it simmer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes it should look something like this and then start mixing the rice and chicken but be very gentle with it as you don't want to break or mash the rice up. After mixing it thoroughly, then it will be ready to serve. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.